You know, Africa is a very beautiful place, uh, but this has been destroyed by colonization and uh, post-colonialism, British people and Western exploitation. And the people of West Africa, they still believe in their minds that they are inferior. They believe that we cannot make it. They believe that we cannot develop this place ourselves. We need the white man to do it for us. So you have this tourism here and this uh, crawler begging mentality to the tourist. But the Nigerians did it and the Kenyans did it and the South Africans did it and black people in America did it. You can do it. The worst kind of colonization is the colonization of the mind. The worst kind of colonization is the colonization of the African mind. The, the worst kind of colonization is the colonization of the African mind. The belief in black people, not necessarily, you know, Europeans or whatever, but black people that they are inferior because then you will act inferior and then you will all the time be submissive to other people and not ultimately to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, the flag of Marcus Garvey represents the liberation of the African mind, the freedom from this belief that you are lesser, you are more stupid, or you are underneath because of the, the, the color of your skin. There are no races, as we said before. And even if you come from, for example, you have the Gambia, you're, you're born in poverty, you have seen only poverty in your life. It can be difficult to believe that another reality is possible, but it is very possible. Plenty of people who have uh, exterminated poverty. China was more poor than Africa before Mao Zedong. And then during that socialist revolution, they have made China the most modern place in the world right now. Soviet Union, same story. So many other places, the same story. India is doing well in some places. Still, India has some poverty. But you have to get away from this belief that you are lesser because you are Indian, you're of a lower cost. The cost, there, there is no such thing as cost. The Indian cost system is also a misunderstanding of Bhagavad Gita. Yes, I read the Bhagavad Gita. The, the way we had in our ancient cultures this, you are a farmer, you are a priest. Th that is not the modern cost system. It's a misunderstanding. The modern cost system is racist and it makes some people believe that they are inferior and then they will act in that paradigm. You have to break this and stop believing that the material world is real. So the key to break mental slavery is to not see this material world as, as real, because it's not real. Everything that is material is temporary. This forest is temporary. In 10 years, it's gonna change. The Western civilization is also temporary. Huh? You had the great time of America, now it's falling apart. And all of those Western people who attached their reality to the dunya, to the material world, the world of created things, they will be very, uh, they will be very surprised. That is why the West is so atheistic and anti-spiritual today, because people put their faith in the material world, their institutions, their governments, their, uh, their technology. Well, what happens when the technology fails? What happens when you couldn't control Russia? What happens when you couldn't control a pandemic? What happens when you can't control who is gonna be the president? All of that material world, it changes. Rome, rise and fall. There is something more permanent, something more ancient, something more deep within the human consciousness, and that is the spirit. Put your trust into the spirit, not into the material world. You can do it black man, black Indian, Aboriginal, Native American, it doesn't matter who you are. Your poverty that you might be living in today is not permanent. The material world is not permanent. The spirit within you that is one ultimately with Allah or God or the Creator or uh, Jehovah or Jahwe or whatever name you have, break free, liberate your mind. And one way is meditation to steal the mind. Hopefully this was interesting. Assalamu alaikum.